You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, welcome. Welcome to another awesome episode of Ask Drone You. Uh, my name is Pablo. I like how you said that. So, Pablo. Yeah. I like to eat quesadillas. <laughs> and I'm Simply Rob, and this is Simply Episode 714 of Ask Drone You, and we're glad that you're with us. And uh, let's see. Paul, this is actually the first day after Christmas. I don't know if you knew that. Oh, really? It kind of sounds weird that we're saying it that way, but it's because we're recording this before Christmas. So hope that you had a fantastic Christmas. Got a lot of rest, got all the wonderful gifts that you wanted, got the new Mavic that you were hoping to get. Yeah, you Maybe know Maybe you'll win the Mavic the, we're giving away and you'll have two of them. I was going to say, you guys, there is still one day left, just one. Go to DroneYouGiveaway.com, sign up. If you've already signed up, you've already created your link, you're going to want to share it today. Share it on Instagram, share it on Twitter, share it on LinkedIn, share it with your mother, share it with your father, share it with your brother, and share it with your sister. Because the more entries that you get, the better the chance that you have. So, very important. Very, very, very important. But today, it's going to be a little chilly here in Albuquerque. Uh, I'm not actually in Albuquerque, but um, it's going to be chilly. And <laughs> <laughs> That's just kind of time travel in there. You're in Virginia right about now. That is correct. Yeah, very excited about that, going home. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway... So, yeah, let's get to today's question, which is brought to you by our friends at the Drone You community, because Paul is not on top of his game today. That's okay. Our holiday party was last night, and I don't mean Christmas. I mean when we actually recorded this. So I'm a little sluggish today. That's because Rob kept feeding me tequila shots. I'm not really sure why. <laughs> yep, but, you know me. Yep. But anyway, um, check out our friends at Energen, because when you start running out of energy, you get where I'm going with this? You start running out of battery power energy it's it's metaphoric rob when you start running out of energy for your batteries you're gonna need a nice recharge and sometimes you're not in the right place to get that charge what am i talking about i'm talking about the energy a40 battery charger because when you're out in the field and you want to charge your metaphoric batteries or your actual phantom 4 batteries or your typhoon h or your h520 batteries you've got to get one of these batteries because it's a portable charger you can use out in the field super safe super durable charge up to four batteries at a time and use discount code drone u a40 to get 50 dollars off on one of those battery chargers. Maybe you got some money for Christmas and you want to spend it on something that's going to help you make money. This is what I tried to tell Sarah. I'm like, I'll buy you anything you want that helps you make money. Hmm. And a Gucci belt of you. is not that. <laughs> <laughs> but this help could help you lose money. This could help you make money. So it's worth checking out myenergen.com forward slash shop discount code drone you a40 by the way if you want the p40 battery just use discount code drone you p40 or if you're just looking for a mavic battery drone you m10 anyway let's hear the question hey paul hey rob kevin new jersey i had a question about <clears throat> renting versus buying if i needed to get a thermal camera like the xt or xtar to do some solar panel inspections and these these types of jobs are infrequent um are there places you would recommend to rent a camera like that versus uh, go out and spend the money and and buy one that you're not going to use very often. Uh, If you got any recommended course of action there or recommended sites, I'd love to hear about them. Thanks. Great question. Ken, you've been sending in a lot of great questions. Appreciate that. You're going to have a a nice chance of winning the uh, next giveaway for a free annual membership. And I think we have a few more coming from him today. So get ready for some Ken. Yeah, I'm really. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. No, I was kind of zoning out there. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What else is new? Yeah. Anyway, so it is a good question, and I'm sure I, the short answer is yeah, it's a great idea, right? Rent before you spend thousands well, of dollars. I mean, an XT camera is what nine thousand dollars, and XTAR I believe is twelve thousand. So I mean, it is pretty expensive. 
Um, but I do want to give a big shout out to our friends over at Rocky Mountain Unmanned Systems because they do actually rent out those cameras to people. Um, they actually also try before you buy. And if you're in public safety, one of the main reasons that a lot of public safety officers buy from them is because in order to sign a lot of government contracts, you, you've got to be able, if you break equipment, to get a new one instantaneously. Mm -hmm. And uh, RMUS is one of the only groups that actually offers that program. So I think it's actually a, a big value add for a lot of public safety guys. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I would also think that if you rent from them, you're not going to just get the bird. You're going to get some help with how yeah, to use it. Yeah, you know, right? they're very service oriented. Um, and if you want to as well, uh, John may even let you comb his hair. I'm not really sure, but it's pretty long. There's Ooh, lots of combing to be that's done. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> I would want to mess that up. Um, but yeah, they do have a lot of service. They help you explain things. They also help you understand that you need certain types of thermal cameras to do certain types of jobs. So if you're looking for thermal cameras to do like thermal mapping and whatnot, which by the way, you can use PIX40 to do. Um, you know, John and RMUS, they love um, pushing Raptor maps, which I haven't had any experience with myself. But in order to do those type of thermal maps, you actually need the uh, XTAR, the radiometric uh, camera, because long and the short of it is essentially the XT and the XTAR are very similar cameras, except the XTAR has been calibrated for ambient temperature. So you're not going to really get good thermal maps with just the XT. You need a calibrated thermal sensor. Hmm. And that's where the XTAR comes in. But I will say, you know, if you line up a bunch of jobs, this is how I would go about it. If I need to rent a camera, I would try to go out and get as many thermal jobs as possible. This is a great time of year to really go out and shoot rooftops of commercial buildings. I mean, you can make some good money doing that. You're probably going to need um, a thermal certification, though. And I think that that's something that we're going to be looking at offering here at DroneU here pretty soon. Um, you know, we've talked about uh, me going to that to class and deal. working with them and, yeah, and all that. Um, and actually, it's funny, Chris Knight, thank you very much, Chris Knight, um, sent me a picture, and he was actually at the FLIR Academy uh, himself, and there mm. was a Drone U student with a fly-in shirt on, and he he was like, you guys seem to be everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. I, I loved seeing that. Yeah, I love seeing that, too. Thank you, Chris. Really appreciate that. Community out and about. You know what? It is one amazing community, and if you haven't checked it out, you've got to. But going back to renting, you can also rent a Z30 from John. I mean... He will, he will really hook you up. He will also go out and do demonstrations if you guys are serious about buying. I mean, he's got some pretty serious uh, rigs that are, uh, that are awesome to use. Yeah, and I would imagine, because there are other places that you can rent drones from but, and cameras, obviously, but I don't know that they are going to have the kind of stuff that he has or that they have over there. Yeah. Most likely, they're not going to have the high-end stuff that Ken's asking about. I could be wrong. But we know that John I does. think that they... Oh, yeah. I'm saying they will, but some of the other places that rent drones... Probably won't. Yeah, what was that other place you looked up? What was it Drone Pal? Well, and that was a drone sharing site, so sort of like an Airbnb or what? There's a there's a car sharing. I it's would a little never bit different. Share my drones. Well, people are. In fact, I'm like the single. The what is it called? The single child or what? Are, what are they? Spo only child. Only child. Even though spoiled. I have three sisters, I'm like the only child. I don't share my Shiza. Well, we did look at some of the prices on there, and you know, I don't. I haven't compared them to renting one, so I don't want to speak to the the level of them. But the, I will say this: somebody had on there a Mavic Pro for three hundred and twenty five bucks a day. That's probably not the best deal you're gonna find. Holy cow! To rent a Mavic Pro, but conceptually, it's kind of a cool idea of people sharing their drone. You know, if you fly on the weekends, even if you use it for money, but it doesn't get used during the week, maybe you could share it with some other people and make a little money and maybe pay for your drone that way. It's mm, a good idea. There's the car place. In fact, I was reading about somebody who bought two Teslas and by renting them out about eight to nine days out of the month, mm -hmm. they were able to make the payment every month just by doing that through that car sharing site. So you could do the same kind of thing with your drone if you're into that. Yeah, I'd be a little, I'd have like an entire instruction manual for people who rented my Tesla. I know. Maybe I should buy a Neo because a Neo is half the price of a Tesla. Maybe. Then I could make it with only four days exactly. of renting. Exactly. Oh, man. New, let's buy one. You got the credit. I got the cash. Let's do, do this thing. Do, <laughs> <laughs> do, do they sell them in the States yet? Um, no, but who's stopping us from going to China and bringing one over? Well, nobody is. I, I Not suppose. yet, at least. <laughs> until <laughs> the we... government, until Trump's like, no! That's right. No, Tesla's going to be huge, not you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Renting, um, good idea. 
Renting is a good idea, but again, I would set up a lot of jobs, reach out to people, try to get some demos going to show people what you can do. But I think that's going to do it for us today. If you have a question, go to astronew.com and give us a Merry Christmas gift by sharing the show with someone. Help us get some more downloads. And if you're headed to CES in a couple weeks, then I will see you there. That's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. I'm Rob. This is Ask Drone You. (laughs) 